Hey guys, welcome back to Choose Your Own Path. So today we're going to be doing something different. Again, we always switch it up. We're going to be doing our diorama. Now a customer asked us for um, a predator diorama that he wanted. Something specific. He had it in his idea, his mind, what he wanted. I'll show you guys what we're doing. So this is a piece that he purchased. And uh, we have to put up a wall. And then what's going to happen is this is going to be like a um, part of a, a beam, I guess, sort of like it goes up like that. And then he has his own predator character that's going to be hanging on it somehow. He's got to have it in there. I think it's smaller than this, maybe bigger. I think it's smaller. But he said it wasn't supposed to be so high, but we'll figure it out when he gets it here. Um, so what we need to do is get it more focused. Oops. So what we do is we add our own wall here. And then what I like to do is just take some hot glue. And these are just little bits that I'm gonna just add here as like, as in like, almost like a 2D, 3D kind of look. So just a little bit of glue, a little bit of hot glue to hold it down. If you can see that, right there. And you'll see that it'll be sort of standing out. So we have many pieces to put on. And all, like I said, it's just to make it look like there's a little bit of a rocky edge. Now you don't have to worry about too much of this sticking hard because we are still going to cover this um, with the Mod Podge, uh, kind of a, a look with some color. Try to get some sharp ends to this look too, like that. And then, like I said, all we're going to do is add. A little bit, and when we say hot, we say hot glue. So, you know hot. <laughs> so again, and we don't need to stick out too much, just just enough so it has a little bit of a look to it, like so. And then we'll just do a couple pieces here too while we're at it. Um, doesn't matter; it will be covered. Here. We have to let this dry for just a couple minutes. I'm going to get the um, uh, Mod Podge and the paint together, mix that together, and we'll get back. So what we did was we mixed up our Mod Podge with a little bit of black and white, so it makes like a grayish kind of area, and we're just going to paint our diorama. So what happens is we get it into all the little cracks and crannies and all that. And what the Mod Podge does is it'll harden up our diorama. Plus, it'll give us the look of uh, uh, the color we want. So, more like a base coat for now. Let it dry for 20 minutes, half an hour. See what it looks like. Add another coat, maybe if we have to. And then we just start. Then we'll take the airbrush and then we can start doing the fine tuning of all the background. All right. So we'll just continue with this. I'll show you what it looks like soon. All right, we're gonna try some dry brushing now. So, I'm just trying to, all it is is get yourself a nice big makeup brush. I use just a little tray of a uh, little bit of white and uh, distilled water, any kind of water, and you try to get most of it off, okay? So all you wanna do, you don't really want this really wet. If you have to use a cloth or uh, your hand, that's fine too. You, just, you don't need to have it so super wet. You just want to have it so you can get some effects on there. All right. So sort of like that. Once you got that done, we'll get back to you. <clears throat> All right. So next I want to show you guys is what I'm going to do is my flocking that I'm going to put on here. And this is turned on its back now. So this is the side walls that we showed you before. So all I'm going to do is I'm just taking glue, some Mod Podge, and just dousing it on here, I guess you could say, like so. And then what we have is our, this is our homemade mo our flocking, which is just, uh, like it's, I just put it through a sifter a while back. And all I want to do is just put it on where my green is. Like so. And uh, I just want to get that color of green. So I want this kind of look all the way through. 
you know, in and out of the rocks up here, maybe a little bit up top, not much, see the cracks. So I'm just gonna keep on going on with that. And then we still need to put some stuff on the floor. We still have to build that sort of tower, like thing that's gonna hold one of the predators. And then he wants a couple of fire pits down here, sort of thing. And he also, he liked this guy, so he bought this with him. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna inquire, incorporate this thing like that. And then of course, like I said, he'll have his predator guy up here on here kind of thing i'm sure his guys are smaller than this one these are there's a different series and he's got these two predator dogs that go here and maybe the character that runs with it i'm not sure um he'll have to bring it in and show me anyway i'll keep on doing this and i'll show you what it looks like because it's really nothing more of what i can show you there okay, so we're also going to add as you can see i added some greenery here um sort of like these are again a dollar store item, so don't be shy to go get some stuff. It's just grass, it's just old dead, whatever. Uh, I don't even know what the hell it is, to tell you the truth. But we're just gonna add it to our diorama because it's gonna look fucking cool. <laughs> so, um, yeah, all you have to do is it Mod Podge holds pretty well. At the end of the day, you can. Uh, probably get away with getting that adhesive spray and spraying it on. That would work. My wife bought me a new ring, two rings. She bought me this guy, kind of looks like me, and uh, this guy, kind of looks like me. Cool. Figures are almost done. One more. I just like skull rings. Don't don't look at me as like I'm I'm a pure weirdo. I just like skull rings. You want to send me a skull ring? You can. It's cool. All right, so like I said, just adding a little bit of, and I say a little bit of green, because there's a lot of stuff you could add to it. You could put too much, and it'll look like hell. Or, you could just put enough, and uh, it's like the wow factor goes in there. So, again, it always looks great at the end, right? We always say that. Let's see what happens. So just, you know, a good glop of um, Mod Podge. And even if you get stuff all over the place, it's glue. It dries up. All right? So it's not a big deal. But, you know, try to be, I don't know, not as messy as me. Yeah, right. Who the hell is messier than me? Okay, so... What we're going to do is now, I'm just going to pat it down a bit, just a bit. Now, why, why am I doing this? So it sticks to the, so the glue gets, you know, a big chunk of it on there. That's all it is. If you want, you can let it, you can let it set and dry for a couple minutes, which is a good idea. Maybe we'll do that. Let's, let's, let's let it dry for about five minutes. We'll be back. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna tilt it upside down. Gonna give it a couple of taps. Okay. Let's pick up a lot of the loose stuff. And uh, there we go. We have a whole kind of green scenario scenery happening back there. And uh, if you want, and what I do is I'll Take the stuff that we just dumped off and uh, I can do this without, without making too much of a mess. I usually just don't always videotape these things, but I will this time. Or videotape, record. <laughs> so, what we're going to do again is take some of this leftover stuff and we're going to go over it again. Okay, because sometimes you can see some of the glue and it's still there. So, why not? Add, you know, the extra to it. And when it's really dry, I'll come back and I'll show you when it's a uh, finished look of that. And then we're gonna start on another piece. All right, all right, we're back. All right, guys, so welcome back to Choose Your Own Path for the final ending of this long ass project that it took me forever to do. Because <sighs> I'm just a dumbass at the best of times. Don't forget that. So, um, a while back we were asked to do, uh, 
you see up there the predator right where my finger is uh like a predator diorama for a guy and it's been such a long time uh, that i got to it and the guy's been super patient so i'm really lucky so what he wanted was uh like a pillar so he's going to take one of his characters he's going to have him on here sort of tied up to it that's how one of the scenes are um he wanted actually this guy as the bridging piece to go down mm -hmm. so which is cool mm -hmm. and then uh, he wanted some fighters so that he can put his characters around he's got two dogs in the predator series i guess there's that hunting scene of the predator i guess from i guess it'd be arnold schwarzenegger but uh yeah that's uh what i came up with uh, i think i'm done i don't think i could do any more uh i didn't show how i did the fires uh, all I did was I uh, put down a piece of parchment paper or plastic paper, whatever it's called, and then I took some hot glue and I just dribbled it, and then I made three, well, you can see one, two, three layers of it. I put them on top of each other, I glued them together, so it's all hot glue, you know, and then when they were dry, well, obviously, and then I just gave them some paint just to go on it and uh, kind of some of it's goosing down and stuff like that. So, yeah. Um... Well, that's what I did. So, let me know what you think. I know it wasn't a great, you know, how-to or showing of the diorama, but it's what I had done, and uh, that's where it's at. So, um, like, follow, subscribe, hit the button, do whatever the hell you want. Get me up to a thousand. God, it's taking forever for that. I know I'm probably not the most popular person on here to do that. So, <laughs> but I'm still gonna go for it. Don't give a shit. Anyway, um, if I can do it, you can do it, and. Uh, Choose your own path, guys. See you on the next one. There it is.